Hey guys, welcome to another math tutorial. Today we're going to start talking about matrices, which is a very interesting concept in maths. So we're firstly going to talk about what matrices are. And firstly, matrices is actually plural for the word matrix. So matrix is singular, matrices is plural. Now, what is a matrix? A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers. Right? And you're probably wondering what the word array means now. So, it's sort of like playing a word game on Wikipedia or dictionary.com. Every word, the meaning of every word contains another word you don't know the meaning for. So don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of this very soon. So the word array just means uh, a table or a list. Right, so a matrix is a rectangular list of numbers. Right, or uh, an arrangement. Okay. So there's different words that all mean the same thing, array. Now, uh, what does the word rectangular mean uh, in this case? So we have some numbers which I'm going to enclose in a rectangular uh, bracket like so. Or square brackets or whatever. And I'm going to put in some numbers in here. And for example, 3, 4, 5, 7. So here we have four numbers and you can see that they are arranged in a uh, rectangular form. So another one could be something like this. 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10. They don't have any particular order, but this is another rectangular array. Uh, what is not a rectangular array would be something like this. 2, 4, 5. Right, so here, this is not a matrix, not a matrix, because it's not in rectangular form. Alright, so a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers. So how is this different to uh, what we know in math already, and why do we need to know this? And basically, in maths, you've been dealing with variables. So a variable contains one number. Right? A variable is like a container uh, for a number. Whereas a matrix contains a list. Uh, an array of numbers. Right, so when we're dealing with uh, some more complicated situations in maths, sometimes a variable is not enough because it only contains a number. Whereas if we have a matrix, then there are more things we can do to. Uh, to perform some more calculations on multiple numbers. Okay, so let's talk about some more matrix terminology. And uh, the first thing we'll do is talk about the dimension of the matrix. So the dimension of the matrix is given by M times N, where M is the number of rows and N is the number of columns. Okay, so let's have a look at the dimension of these matrices that we have given you so this one there's two rows two columns so this is a two by two matrix 
and this one here this particular one here is has two rows and three columns so that's a two by three matrix okay so as an activity I would like you guys now to draw draw a four by four matrix actually four by three matrix and then qu question B draw a uh, five two by four matrix actually do we have that already no two by four matrix okay and it doesn't matter what numbers you put in the matrix that's not the problem here the problem is whether you can draw a matrix with the correct dimensions so have a go come back when you're done okay part a so I have four rows and three columns so I'm gonna draw the rows first so I have four two three one I got four rows three columns so I'm gonna start the columns now two one zero two one zero four four so I have four columns sorry four rows and three columns okay draw a two by four matrix so that's two rows so I'm gonna have one zero and I have four numbers in each row so two three zero four one two it doesn't matter what numbers you put in there as long as you have the correct number of numbers okay uh, the next thing we want to talk about is the elements of a matrix so let's say I define this top matrix as matrix A and I'm gonna call the second matrix uh, give it a uh, symbol B so for matrix A you can see here A is a capital letter now if I want to refer to a specific number within matrix A okay how I refer to that is uh, using a particular notation which works like this so I use little a and then I use two numbers as subscript so I have little a uh, and I'm gonna put row one column one okay uh, so actually let me just write the symbols first so the subscript of the letters will tell you what element it is so I have A11, A21 because it's row 2, column 1, uh, row 3, column 1, uh, row 4, column 1. Alright, so the first number in the subscript is the row number and the second number in the subscript is the column number. Okay, so I have 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, 4, 2, Four, three, and so on. Okay, so that's how you refer to specific uh, elements in a matrix. So if I want to find out uh, what, so I have matrix B here, and I, if I want to find out uh, B two three, and what's the answer of that? Well, we go to row number two, column number three, and the answer is one. So try this, uh, try this, and uh, put in the answer before you look at what the answer is. Pause the video. Okay, and the answer is three. Okay, so hopefully you uh, have a good introduction of what matrices are, and see you guys next time.